Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back and in this video what we're now going to do is install WordPress. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is go to your hosting control panel. When you received your email uh, about setting up your hosting account, they would have sent you login details in order to get through to your control panel and that is what you need to do. If you um, if you're still not sure where your control panel is, then type in your main domain in the URL, okay, forward slash cPanel. So let's say your main domain, let's say my main domain was create a website on facebook.com. I would put in www.createawebsiteonfacebook.com forward slash cPanel. And that would bring me here to the control panel. I'm not going to put that in because it's not my main domain. I've, <laughs> I've actually had to add that domain to my hosting account because um, I set mine up a long, long time ago. But this is if this is the first time you set it all up, that's what you need to do. Okay, or just click on the links within your email. So you should land at a page that looks something like this. This is obviously the HostGator control panel. Um, yours may look slightly different if you're using a different hosting company, but wherever you are, your your control panel will look something like this. And what I'd like you to do is go down and find a control called Fantastico. This is the little fella here, the little smiley face. You're looking for Fantastico, okay? And we're going to click on Fantastico and open that up. This is where we are going to install WordPress. And this is so simple, it's crazy. Down here on the left-hand side, when you've entered into Fantastico, you're going to see this little thing that says WordPress here. So we click on that. Okay, that takes us through to this page. Now, I appreciate you probably won't see all of this. I've got all different um, pages set up all over the place. Um, your, your page hopefully will be completely clean. Um, and what you want to do is click on New Installation. Okay, New Installation just here. So we click on that button. That takes us through to this page. Now, once again, I've got lots of different domain names here. I appreciate that you may only have the domain name you've just signed up with. Okay, so that may well be what you've got there. If you've got more than one domain, if you've already kind of got this far and you're just not sure how to install WordPress, then you may then have a drop down box like this, which will have all the different domains that you have created. So I'm selecting create a website on facebook.com because that's the domain that I want our WordPress blog on. Okay, or our WordPress site on. Okay, I'm going to leave this blank. Um, you need to put in a username and password, so I'm just going to put in admin and admin for now. I'll go back and change that later. Okay, um, and you want your email address in here that uh, you want HostGator to, to, or you want, sorry, Fantastico to email you your login details. So this is where you'd put that email in here. Okay. So we're just going to put that one in, that's my general email address. And this is not important for what we're doing. We are creating WordPress in order to create a welcome page yeah, for Facebook. So it doesn't really matter what you call the site. But if you are installing WordPress, if you're following these instructions and actually you'd like to install a blog as well, and you want to give your blog a site name, then this is where you would put it. Okay, so create a website, oops, on Facebook is what we'll call this one okay but as I said for our iframes it doesn't make any difference that bit so you could essentially just leave it blank and then just click install WordPress okay and that's it you've chosen to install in the main directory of create a website on Facebook the access URL will be this create a website on facebook.com finish installation okay and that's basically it. It's just installing it all now. It's creating all the files that it needs to create behind the scenes um, and all of that kind of stuff. And boom, there is your WordPress all ready and installed. So shall we go and test it? Shall we go and have a look and make sure it's all working fine? All right, drum roll, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll. Create a web oops, site on Facebook dot com drum roll da -da 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 -da. <gasps> boom there's our blog live on the web there we are create a website on facebook we've just installed wordpress 
And there it is, up and running in front of our very eyes, live on the World Wide Web. So if you've just done that, congratulations, you've just got your WordPress site up and live on the World Wide Web. So what we're going to do next is we're now going to go over and we're going to install the theme that is going to turn this website into a web page that we can integrate with Facebook. We have a theme already made uh, that we're simply going to install on WordPress, um, which is going to allow you to complete a fantastic welcome page that you can put within your Facebook page. So I hope you found this uh, video useful, guys, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.